Well, hi there. Here I am, and here's my Christmas tree. Yep, here it is with the lights off. Twinkly and colorful, the way I like it. And there's our fireplace and our stockings all ready for Santa. And now I will show you some of my favorite ornaments. I'll start with this one. This is from A Cup of Christmas Tea, which is a beautiful little story that I love. And I actually have the whole tea set and a bunch of the collectibles. And um, here's a sheep that came from New Zealand when we went there, one of our souvenirs. This is a souvenir from Hawaii made out of shell. Very beautiful. The alien loves the Muppets, especially this guy. Yeah, the animal. Yeah, and he likes, uh, he loves these guys, the hecklers. <laughs> Golly, here's some caroling coyotes, which we got the year we were married. Pretty, pretty reindeer. Oh, yes, these we got um, the year we were married, too. We actually had a Christmas party. We were married in November, so in December we had a Christmas party, and everyone was told to bring a Christmas ornament for us, and that's how we got started with our collection. So here's Larry the cucumber, Bob the tomato, Pinky and the brain. I mean, seriously, who doesn't love Pinky and the brain, right? And then, oh, Rosie the robot. I actually, um, I named my Roomba after her. Sorry, I blew a fuse, sir. But what can you expect from wiring as old as mine? <laughs> I, f I feel your pain, Rosie. Anyways, I named her, I named my Roomba after her. This is a very special ornament to me because it came from my dear friend Nancy, who used to live across the street from me, and um, she passed away a few years ago. This is the only Star Trek ornament on my Christmas tree. Because as you know, I keep all my Star Trek ornaments out all year in my office. I don't pack them up. But this one here was a duplicate. It was a gift. So I have two of them. So one stays in my office all year. And one goes on my Christmas tree because it's cool. You have to have Star Trek on your Christmas tree. Yep. And then these, um, there's three of these. Porcelain Irish Blessing ornaments. They're beautiful. We had the old Irish Blessing sung at our wedding. And it's just kind of like a... A sentimental song for me. We used to sing it in my uh, swing choir in high school. It was a souvenir from our horrible Alaskan cruise. It was like the worst vacation. Well, second worst vacation ever. Of course, everyone needs a wicked witch on their Christmas tree. So nothing says Christmas like a wicked witch. And we have the rest of the Wizard of Oz gang scattered around here somewhere here and there. Oh, here's Glinda. They're all here, somewhere. And we have the Poochie, that looks like my Poochie. And then lots of, oh, and this beautiful one we got in Hawaii, on our Hawaiian vacation. And then we have a family picture, and lots of kid pictures. Look at baby Katie, how cute is that? We actually have lots of, lots of these ornaments with the kids' pictures in them. Little handprint ones. So, um, yeah, there's plenty more. There's these clothespin reindeer. A lot of them are handmade. A lot of them are gifts. But there's so many. It's hard to fit them all on. And our angel on the top. 